parties are never fun. Yeah, they're never fun. <laughs> I never have a nice time. So thanks, but we're not coming. But that means no presents. Wait, this year's going to be different. There'll be a brilliant tea. Sounds good. And, and the, the prizes will be fantastic. Game prizes, I'm in. And me, if it's not too scary. This will be the best party you've ever been to. Oh, all right, I'll come just to see this brilliant party of yours. Yeah, me too. And me. Hey, and me. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, and then the ants painstakingly burrow their way down through the soil to build their nest. Henry! Henry's best party ever. Item one, food. Crisps, burgers and loads of chips. Mmm, carrot sticks. Mmm, yummy. Peanut butter sandwiches and plenty of apple juice. Item two. The trip to Laser Zap. We'll go in a fleet of stretch limos. No, no limos. Much too expensive. One bus is much greener than lots of limos. Don't know why you're bothered. You're not coming. Henry, Peter's your brother. Of course he's coming. But he'll ruin everything! <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. No Peter, no party. All right, but you'd better keep out of my way, worm. Yes? <laughs> the birthday boy's name is Henry. <laughs> Henry, when you went to Laser Zap for Ralph's birthday party, did you break all the lasers? No. And put slime in everybody's spacesuits? No. What about the goo in the moon boots? Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't me. Well, Laser Zap have banned you. That means the party will have to be here. No! I want to go to Laser Zap! Don't worry. I know lots of good games. His mum's going to drop him off when he's finished. You'll have to start without him. OK. Go! This is from... I know! It's a pack of felt pens. Do you like it, Henry? Mm, I've already got some. Henry, what do you say? Thank you very much. Next! It's a tapestry kit. I chose it myself. Why? Oh, ooh, I'll have it if you don't want it, Henry. Brilliant! You've got some animal soap, a CD of fairy tales. Oh, wow! Cook your own healthy, nutritious food! Fantastic! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Are we feeling a little better then, Henry? No, I must be allergic to school dinners, miss. <laughs> Nonsense. You just fainted from hunger. So here's your dinner with extra helpings. Huh? And don't even think of moving till you've eaten everything. Oh, yuck! 
You just can't be a good salad, can you? Wicked! But everyone in my class has a packed lunch! N-O spells no. It's too much work and you never eat what we give you. But I hate school dinners! I love school dinners. They're delicious. Silence, worm. Mom! Henry told me to shut up! Don't be horrid, Henry. Please! Please, can I have a packed lunch? <sighs> well, if you promise to eat everything... Henry! <laughs> Thank you, Henry. You have given us a perfect demonstration as to why this lunchroom is out of control. <laughs> you all know Greta from the cafeteria. She is now in charge of the lunchroom. Her assignment is uh -huh. to keep order. And she will monitor your lunch boxes to make sure you're eating everything up. Oh. Right. Everyone return to your seats, open your lunch boxes, and eat. I'm not letting the demon dinner lady spoil my fun. Hey, that's mine. Not anymore. It's confiscated. My muffin! Yes, I did. Huh? <laughs> no treats allowed. <laughs> it's really not fair. <laughs> she can't eat our food, can she? What can we do about it? Tomorrow is another day. Give me your treats now. <laughs> <laughs> Only rubber. One place I'm safe from greasy Greta. Treats? Doesn't anybody have any treats? <laughs> if you don't tell me where Margaret has hidden her treats, then it's back to school dinners for you, Andrew. I hear it's stringy stew today. Huh? In her socks? <laughs> Graham's taped his under the desk. <laughs> Ow! He's got a chocolate biscuit in his football boot, miss. <laughs> if someone in this class doesn't tell me where Henry's hidden his chocolate biscuit, then you'll all be going back to school dinners. Is it a such humour? And you have to wear shorts. Breakfast ready! And I never win anything. Henry! 
Achoo! <laughs> I hate butterflies too. Oh, I'm so proud of my little athlete. I just know you're going to win that egg and spoon trophy again. Whoa, whoa. Oh, poor Henry. Oh, oh well, I expect you'll live. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I can go to school today, Mum. I've got the most terrible tummy ache. I think I might have to go to hospital. Oh, dear. I hope they won't need to operate. Operate? <laughs> Henry, we both know you haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. Huh? And don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts, it's how you play the game. Don't be horrid, Henry! There, Peter. Your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! <laughs> Switch a bed for you, Henry. I've been in training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible! Not if you've got the willpower. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this yummy, gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy, gummy. Oh, they're my fave. Mmm, are you sure you won't have one? Oh. Oh. Taking places for the three-legged race. The three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I am... Um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up. It's about to start. <laughs> On your mark. I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No! This way! Ow! 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 Oh, oh. This is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! Ow. Stop that at once! Ow. We wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh, and Henry, you horrid child. If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong. You are here all day. The rest of you follow me. <laughs> oh, you'll pay for this, Henry. That's the trouble with sports day. Brings out the worst in people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> it's so easy being me. I'm hard Henry. I'll try it, what? Breakfast. What have you got to eat? Um, help yourself to anything in the fridge. 
Um, bedtime is nine o'clock, and uh, remember, Henry, don't be horrid! So you're the one known as Orrid Henry. <laughs> and you're the one known as Rabid Rebecca. And I'm the one known as Perfect Peter. And I know we're all going to have a good time. <laughs> Good's good. I like good. <laughs> I expect good. I demand good. Are we clear? <laughs> uh, that's lucky. I'm really good at being good. But it'll be difficult for you. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Take back, you miserable, maladjusted, malicious, malevolent mutant! Hey! I was watching Mutant Max! Would you care for some refreshments? <sighs> popcorn! I hate popcorn! Oh, uh, sorry. My mistake. I should have checked first. Oh, I love ballroom dancing. What's your favourite? The foxtrot? The, the tango? Get lost. Shut up! Henry, you're doing it all wrong. It's more of a cha 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 than a do 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 da. Get out of my way! You can both go to bed right now. But it's not my bedtime for hours. I thought we could all have a nice game of Chinese checkers before bedtime. <laughs> Oh, OK. If you don't like that, how about Tiddlywinks? We're playing hide-and-seek. You both hide, and if I find you... ...you'll be wishing I hadn't. Oh, oh, oh. Patsy, I'm hiding in the cupboard under the stairs. Aren't you going to hide? Not from Rabbit Rebecca, I'm not. I've beaten all the other babysitters in town, and I'm not going to lose this time. Let the games begin! Don't worry, son. We'll have a squad car over there in no time. Now, yeah, what's this intruder look like? Ten feet tall, teeth the size of icebergs, and she's watching our TV right now! But that's Rebecca. She's not an intruder. was the intruder and took her away. Does that mean I win hide-and-seek? No. You most definitely haven't won hide-and-seek. Intruder, am I? Ten feet tall, am I? Teeth like icebergs, have I? Uh, it wasn't my idea. I think you're very uh, charming. Get to bed. You have five seconds. One. Run! from that bed, or you'll be sorry you were born! It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! This goes here, and here... OK, where's my mutant cyborg spiders? I can't get up without them.
For the last time, Henry, time to get... Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. Where's Mr. Kill? Where's Mr. Kill? Who stole Mr. Kill? Torch, scissors, notepad and pen? Check. Boot polish, lucky rotten duck egg, and fake dog poo. Check. I'm going to get you back, Mr. Kill. And then I'll get whoever took you. <laughs> Detective Henry always gets his man. This smells like an inside job. Dodgy Dad. But why? Henry! 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 Yeah, Dad. You can run, but you can't hide. 4.35 p.m. Suspect cooking healthy food in kitchen. <gasps> no! Don't cook Mr. Kill! Uh, what? You took Mr. Kill while I was at school! And now you want us to eat! Him. Don't be horrid, Henry. Look, it's a chicken. Oh. And I was at work when you were at school. Oh. Suspect has alibi. Maybe Mr. Kill left home. You're always throwing him around and stamping on him. Mr. Kill would never leave me! Well then, look in your fort. Maybe you left him there. No! I didn't leave him. He was stolen. Mr. Kill, where are you? I'm in charge because it's my garden. Oh, but you're always in charge in my garden too. Well, somebody has to be in charge around here. Oh, yeah. Now there's someone who has a motive. Moody Margaret. She's always wanted to get me back. Is she going to be all right? She'll pull through. What are you doing to my dolly? You'll pay for this, Henry! Revenge and ransom. Two perfect motives. Moody Margaret kidnapped Mr. Kill. Well, what's wrong with being second in command? It's not first in command, is it? Ah, oh, yes, but it's better than being third in command, believe me. Oh, no! They're burying Mr Kill! Oh, we could both be first in command. That's a stupid idea. Oh, that's it. I'm going home. Well, that's why you'll never be in command. They'll pay for this, Mr Kill. So easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! Out of my way, Worm! I'm taking Mum and Dad their juice. But I always take them their juice. Too late, slow coach. Oh, you haven't put something horrible in it, have you, Henry? No. Open the door. Oh, I can take it in for you. No, let go! <laughs> oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Go and get something to clear up this mess. Hey? Can I come with you, Dad? I love going to the supermarket. Of course you can, Peter. Henry! 
sorry. Well, that's not fair. You're taking Peter. Why can't I come? Because I remember the last time you came shopping. I'll be good, I promise. I just want to help. Please? Cucumber, tomatoes, salad. Dad said I could push the trolley. You did it last time. Dad! Henry's being mean! Don't be horrid, Henry. It's OK. Peter can push. I don't care what... What did you say? Peter can push the trolley. I don't mind. Are you feeling OK, Henry? Fine, thank you. Um, well... Well done. Well done, then. Being good is really hard work. Hmm. I don't know. How about leek and broccoli? Um, yes, but Mum likes spicy parsnip. Fine. Henry? We need baked beans. I know where they are, Dad. It's OK. I'm on to it. <gasps> this has possibilities. <gasps> Henry, don't. Oops, nearly forgot. Henry, what are you doing? Get down from there. Lunchtime. Peter, can you...? Lay the table. Yes, please. Why can't I do it? Well, I want to lay the table. All right, Henry, but don't break anything. I always lay the table. Let go! You let go. OK, have it your way. Thank you, Peter. What a good boy you are. Henry, sit up properly. I am sitting up properly. Oh, so you are. Well, don't slurp your food. I'm not slurping. I've eaten all my carrots. Good heavens. Henry, what a good boy. Oh, I've eaten all my carrots too. Mm. <sniffs> Peter kicked me! Peter? I know what you're doing. You're only being good so you can go to the fair, but it won't work, so there. Oh, no? No, because sooner or later you'll do something horrid. You always do, smelly. I forgive you. Can I do some gardening? You? Why? To be helpful, of course. Well, um, there is one job needs doing. It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. This is a dumb nonsense. This is perfect. Where's the TV? No TV here, thank goodness. Where's the pool? No pool. We'll swim in the lake. Where are the toilets? No toilets. Oh. Huh? Only joking. <laughs> it's over there. That's the toilet. This is real camping. Oh, yes, Dad. The bonjour trees. Bonjour, birds. Bonjour. Oh. Bonjour. Oh, um, uh, bonjour, monsieur. Ah, anglais. Um, I, I think that means welcome. Hand me that pole, please, Henry. Why can't we stay at Camp La Fun? 
comfy beds and hot showers. That's not real camping. Bonjour, camping! We're staying here, Henry, so you might as well stop making a fuss and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Can it get any worse? Last one in's a cowardly custard! <laughs> Come on, you two! It's lovely! <laughs> Much better than a swimming pool, eh, Peter? Much better! Go, go, go. such a baby. You're coming in. No! Come on! A bit of mud never hurt anyone. No! I... I... Hey, nature! <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Probably a werewolf. No, it's not. You're just trying to scare me. Oh! Th th that was you, Henry. No, it wasn't. <coughs> See? It wasn't me. But I think it was an owl. Or a werewolf pretending to be an owl. Werewolves are very clever. Well, good night then. Oh, Henry. I need the toilet. Go then. It's dark out there. What if I meet, you know, the werewolf? Go ahead. I'll keep guard with the torch. Werewolves don't like light. There. <laughs> now he's safe from the werewolf. Oh, it's really dark. In here <laughs> and smelly. And me. Henry! Henry! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry, wrong tent. And this year. <laughs> Henry, what's going on? Where's Peter? Peter? Um, asleep? Oh, Henry took my torch and left me in the toilet. Henry! I know! I'm horrid! Send me home, please! Oh, no, you don't. Your father wants to be close to nature, and that's what we're doing. Why can't we camp in our back garden? That's close to nature. And proper toilets, too. Nonsense! This is our holiday. Come on, Peter. Your holidays were supposed to be fun for everybody. Nature! Eureka! <laughs> That's it! They want to be close to nature? Then they're going to be close to nature! How did she know I was here? Yes! Did you get everything for tea? No! No funny disaster! No 200 pounds! Not much time left! What am I going to do now? Why 
can't I play all my Happy Hopper instead? Because it won't look as funny. That I mean good. Mum and Dad will love seeing their little Peter playing in the garden. And action! Woohoo! I did it! I did it! That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap! <laughs> Mum and Dad will be so proud that their little angel has learned to ride his bike. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. Come on, Worm. Just think of the proud look on Mum and Dad's faces. And action. Come on, Peter. Are you okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> You're okay. Now, both of you clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Woo! Goody! Prissy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Laugh Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! Very nice of you, Henry, to record Polly's visit. Well, she's my favourite cousin. Ah, she's here. of your visit. Isn't that sweet? Oh! And I haven't even had my hair done! <laughs> Action! <gasps> there! Ooh, isn't this exciting? <laughs> Just keep coming this way. One, it is so two, lovely to be here with my uncle three, and my aunt and my adorable four, little cousins. Five! <laughs> Clap twice, clap one, two, three. Come on, happy hippos, clap with me. Clap once, clap twice, clap one, two, three. Come on, happy hippos, clap with me. Clap once, clap twice, clap one, two, three. And now it's time for Laugh Till It Hurts. Dad! Henry, change the channel! <laughs> what? Don't be worried, Henry. It's Peter's turn to choose. Oh, Mum! Wait! Look! There's Henry! Henry's on TV! <laughs> so easy being me! I'm Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. <laughs> no! <laughs> This'll take forever. Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? 
Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. Hey, Bert, found anything? I don't know. Henry, there's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> You've got to find Bunny or else... I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules! Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward! I bet they were boys! Miss? Henry! No! Miss, we mustn't give in to these hooligans. Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show them we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry, have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes. Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. Yes. Oh, this is a bit embarrassing. Um, I, uh, I like to keep a souvenir of all the children who pass through my school. Did you dig up all the other boxes as well? Yes. Everything's in my attic at home. It's my way of remembering you all. Couldn't you just take a photo of us? Look, Henry, if anyone were to find out about this, it might, um, well, might be a bit awkward. Henry, do your parents know you're out this late? It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Shouldn't you be tidying your room, Henry? Done it! <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Can I have my star now? Is this your belt, Henry? Don't touch that! Henry. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, after one day, it's Perfect Peter with one star. And Horrid Henry has yet to score.
for. So, all to play for. Shooting its way to you, Peter. Well, the room looks very tidy, Henry. Star? But what is that smell? <gasps> oh, oh, no. oh. Hey, I was saving that. Oh. And after day two. Henry still has no stars. But Perfect Peter has a perfect pair! <laughs> what are you doing, Henry? Curtains could do with a wash. I am impressed, Henry. What's he doing in there? Hold it there, worm. You're trespassing. But I need the vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> Day three, and it's three stars to Peter. And Henry's still on the starting bench. Yeah! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little bro. Aha! We're going to eat a gobble and go. <laughs> That's what you think. He's worried. Safe side, I've got a little plan. Peter's happy hippo painting is on the other side of this wall. Now we wait. <gasps> How perfectly perfect, Peter. with four stars to Henry's zero. Henry's going to have to do something pretty special if he wants to gobble and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't forget Jolly Josh is coming over to play, Henry. Oh, no! Jolly Josh! He's always playing practical jokes. He's got to wreck my room. It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. <gasps> All right. Come on, little Fangy Fangy. Who's a pretty boy, then? Little Fangy, little Fangy. I love you. I love you. Oh, poor 
whatever is going on here? Fang's being horrid to Fluffy. That's not true. <laughs> Put Fang away now, Henry. You haven't got time to play with him. Oh, look at your room. It's even more of a mess than usual. Oh, you can tidy it later. Can you empty all the rubbish bins now, please? Oh, come on, Fang. Time to go back. When I'm king, only parents will have to do chores. Henry, what are you doing? Emptying the bins. Oh, I don't think that's what Mum meant. I'm going to tell. You don't have to. Mum! <gasps> Worm! Mum! Henry? Yes? Oh, have you emptied all the bins? Yes. Can I go to Ralph's now? Oh, we've only just started, Henry. Dad wants you to help him wash the car. Oh! It's for you! Henry, I'll be back in a minute. Make sure you wash the windows, too. What? That'll take forever! I can't wash the windows if they're not there, can I? I'll finish the car off for Dad. That'll speed things up a bit. Mum wants you upstairs. Now. <gasps> right. I want you to take the laundry down to the basement. Oh, my arms are aching. They're going to drop off. Don't be ridiculous, Henry. And don't forget to separate the whites from the colours. I'm going to tell. Mum! Who cares what colours they are? Henry! Did you do what I said? Yes, it's all sorted. Good. Then you can tidy your room now. This is torture! Can't I tidy my room later? I want to go to Ralph's. Not until you've finished. Empty the bins, wash the car, do the laundry and pick up your socks. They're all over the floor. That's where I keep them! And don't forget to hoover, Henry. <coughs> don't be horrid, Henry! <coughs> now get off! It's so easy being me, I'm That's a very nice second-hand jumper you're wearing. At least it's not green like yours. This isn't green. Mum, he's got a goo shooter. Give me that. While you're a guest in my house, you will behave yourself. I won't put up with any mischief. Ow! Get it off! Get it off! I don't know how that got in there. Sorry, Aunt Ruby. Show him to his room. I've put all my toys in my room, and you're not allowed to touch them. You're 
or up here in the attic. <laughs> I bet you're scared of the dark. Of course not. Good, because this room is haunted. <laughs> It'll take more than a silly ghost to scare me. I love ghosts. Ah! You see that stain? That's where the ghost vaporized. <laughs> pa! Of course, if you're too scared to sleep here, Maybe the ghost will let me play with his toys. You better hope so, because up here, no one will hear you scream. <laughs> I'm Henry. Am I scared? It was a night like this when the ghost first appeared. Uh, you mean this really is a haunted house? Oh, don't be silly, Steve. That's just a story. We've never seen the ghost ourselves. Ah! Oh, dear. Not another power cut. Spooky, eh? Go on, Mum. Tell him the story. Legend has it that the house was built by a rich old man to hoard his gold. He had dozens of servants waiting on him hand and foot. But he was scared they would steal his gold. So one night, he sneaked out and buried it in the wood. He built secret passages in the house so the servants wouldn't see him creeping out at night to check on his gold. But one night, it was so dark, he couldn't see where he was going. And he stumbled into the well and drowned. It's his ghost that wanders the house, searching for his gold. Ah! Huh? Yeah, well, serves him right. With all that money, he should have bought a torch. <sighs> That's enough silly stories. It's time you boys went to bed. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> there's something in the wardrobe, just waiting to get me. <laughs> Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything, except injections. <laughs> Steve, just you wait. Revenge will be mine. <laughs> 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 <laughs>